Hello everybody, I am going to talk about second section of chapter 3 which is prime and composite numbers. Everybody first let's talk about prime number. A number that is divisible by only one and itself is called a prime number. We have an example to understand well. Let's look at 2, 5, 11. Everybody 2. How many factors does it have? Everybody 2. How can you get 2? Just one and itself, right? Let's see. 1 times 2, 2. Could you find more factors for, for it? No. This is 1. This is itself because of the 2 is prime number. What about 5? Everybody, how many factors does 5 have? Let's see. Just 1 and 5. Let's see 11. How many factors does it have? Everybody, just 1 times 11. These numbers have just two factors which are one and itself because of that we call prime number now let's see composite number composite number a number that is divisible by any number rather than one and itself is called a composite number i mean you can find more factors more than two factors we call composite number we have an example for 8 and 12 let's understand clearly everybody four how many factors 4 does have? Everybody, let's look at 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. 1, 2 and 4. We have more than 2 factors because of that 4 is not prime, 4 is composite. What about 8? How many factors does it have? Everybody, 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. More than 2 factors because of that 8 is composite number. Let's look at the last example is 12 everybody how can we get 12 by multiplying 1 times 12 2 times 6 and 3 times 4 12 is composite number everybody we have a note some notes these notes are very important some prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 and 29 let's see another note all prime numbers except 2 are odd numbers. Another note, 2 is the smallest and only even number. Then last note is 1 is not prime or composite number. That's it everybody. Thanks for listening and watching. See you next lesson.